NWBHL one-on-one. Pleased to be joined today by Mike Arvin from the BC Snipers. And Mike, wow, your team pulled off a pretty big win tonight, I think it's fair to say. You actually uh, beat the uh, the game, previously undefeated. You beat them 4-3 tonight to take yeah. over a top spot in the B division. Why don't you tell me about this, this game you just played first year? Uh, well, they're definitely a talented team. they got a lot of runners. Uh, not sure who his name is, but number 10. Guy's got some skills with his hands. There's a, there's a few guys. Uh, the guy there tonight, uh, Brad Crawford. There's a couple of uh, young kids actually that uh, you know played in, in, in the minor league that are really good and played in Abbotsford. And uh, yeah, they just uh, they're just so good down low. They are. Uh, there was only the one guy I actually recognized, and uh, I was expecting him to make a couple of passes. And uh, luckily, Danny was there to cut a couple of those cross creases off for me. Uh, made it a little bit easier in the first half. Uh, Daniel of Fortune, uh, what's it been like playing uh, with this guy? I mean, he's just every oh. game he's here tonight. Tonight he actually was for once was held off the score sheet, but usually this guy's the difference maker for the sniper. So what's it like? Uh, nothing new to me. I've known the guy for 18 years. Played with him for a long time. Uh, guy's just got incredible hands. He sees the game so well. Between him and his brother, it's it's almost like watching the Sedins. You get the two of them together. They know where they are. One's a playmaker. One's just got an incredible shot as he's going in off the wing. Yeah, I think it's fair to say they both, uh, both the, fortunes yeah. have an incredible shot. Yeah, like having my friends actually on the team during the spring is great. Like, Steve's awesome in the corners. He's got incredible speed to get in there. He did an incredible job in the last 30 seconds killing off. Oh, uh, he's great. He's great in that situation. Always has been when it comes to ragging the puck, Steve Carruthers. Orion with a couple of goals tonight. Uh, he came up big for your team. Yeah, I was actually amazed he hit the net for once. <laughs> I got a razzle. He, he, he misses a lot. <laughs> there you go. And yourself, I'd be remiss if I didn't mention your uh, first start performance tonight, stopping 30 of 33. So uh, I was a little disappointed with uh, the one there. Yeah, uh, one, that one at the end there, maybe. But uh, uh, no, I, I'm more of the uh, didn't notice that first one. The, right. it, I guess it got tipped off Brad's stick. I didn't even pay attention to him sitting there. I'm figuring it's going wide. I just let it go. <laughs> I, I gave up thinking it was going away. Well, and give it all the credit, he, he placed that one perfectly. Fair enough. Uh, bottom line is that the Snipers are the new uh, top team in the B Division, uh, pending of course the games tomorrow, but, uh, yeah. but a great night for yourself and the team tonight, so congratulations. Thank you. This has been uh, Mike Ireland, and uh, I'm Jeff Brailsford, and this has been another NWBHL one-on-one. -on -one.